Hey guys, Insomnia here from UnrealTech.net, a division of BlenderTech.com, and I'm back after the August Epic Games Game Jam. Recognize these quick hotkeys? Those are stock one-click note hotkeys. For example, when I hold down the B key and left mouse click in a blueprint like so, I get a branch. Just one click, one key. Nice and easy and quick. There's some more stock ones we'll look at in a second, but I'm going to show you how to easily add more to your editor without editing any code. These quick tips will be some of the last videos I upload about Unreal to Blender Tech before moving to the Unreal Tech channel for all development videos, so be sure to describe to whatever, whichever fits your needs or both. So the first thing you'll want to do is navigate to your engine folder, which by default would be in Program Files, Epic Games, and then under your engine version, in this case 4.8, and then you'll want to go to Engine, and we'll want to go to Config. In this folder, you'll have a base editor per project user settings file. And this is this is uh, settings that are saved throughout all of the projects that you'll start. So if we edit this in Notepad or Notepad++, whatever you prefer, if you scroll down almost all the way to the bottom, you will see this blueprint spawn nodes um, function, I guess you could call it. And so it has these plus nodes equals class, etc. So the syntax for these is plus node equals, and then you need a class member name, and I'll show you how to get that in a second. So you start with a parentheses and you go class equals, and then it would be some some member class, and then your key, so key equals, we'd say something like R, and then the rest of the syntax is shift equals either false or true, control equals either false or true, and alt equals either false or true. Just like so, and it makes you end with an ending parenthesis. So let me show you how to add some custom ones. You can see the stock ones here. Um, event begin play is uh, P plus click, do N times is N, a delay is D, a uh, branch is B, a sequence is S, a gate is G, a multi-gate is M, a for each loop is F, do once is O, an array get is A, and so I've added some uh, custom ones in here, for example, uh, get player controller, so that obviously does a get player controller node, uh, add underscore float float so that does a float plus float node um, I bound that to Q the, I, there's also add int int so you can see how the math ones work um, I also have K2 destroy actor so that brings up a destroy actor node and a get all actors of class so here's how you get those member classes in your editor all you have to do is choose something that you want to do so in this case I'm gonna select get player character and then just copy that node so just copy and that will bring in a text version of that node which you can paste into other blueprints or text editors just like this so I'm now gonna paste that node control V and so you can see in here it all the node data is is in this paste that I just made now we're looking for a member class so in this case, I just scroll down and I look for it and we see function reference equals member parent equals class, blah, 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 blah. Member name equals get player character, sorry. So I'm going to cut out get player character. I'm going to delete that paste. And then I'm going to add my, my new node. So plus node equals class equals uh, get player character key equals uh, key equals we'll say three or we'll go we'll go uh, y how about just four and shift equals true control equals false alt equals false now just hit control s or save and then restart your editor so now all I have to do is hold down the y button and click and, oh, shift Y, sorry, and I get a player controller node. Just like that. So just like the rest of them. Simple as that. So hopefully that helps you extend your editor to uh, increase your workflow. So that is all for me for today, guys. This is Insomnia from UnrealTech.net. 
Like I said, this is going to be the last few videos I upload to the Blender Tech channel, so if you haven't already subscribed to the Unreal Tech channel, make sure you do with the link in the description, and we will talk to you guys next time. Don't forget about all the social media links on your screen if you so desire, and remember, create your way.